What's up everybody? So we're back on the shop with another Shop Talk Tuesday and in this episode we are going to be wrapping up the Camp Tonto build. This guy right here, I call it the Camp Tonto build because that's what it was initially designed for. I'm probably going to EDC the heck out of this thing. Now we'll use it for both but I can't wait to just carry this, use it daily and just have a blast with it. I love the profile, I like the tapered tang and everything texture on the ricasso the jimping on the spine there i just think that this is going to be an absolute amazing knife to use now in this episode the goal for this is to get a sheath made and get an edge put on this so that's what we're going to do we probably won't have a ton of talking during this one if there's something that i think is going to be like good knowledge or something like that i'll hit that in there but other than that it's just going to be me making a sheath, which y'all have seen me make plenty of times before. We're going to do a, a simple sheath on this one with a cool material that y'all have seen me work with in the past. So we're going to be doing that, and then we're going to get an edge put on it and wrap this one up so that next week we can start the new build, which I think y'all are really going to like. So here you go. Let's jump into it. So we're going to have this in here at 200 degrees for just about a minute. So before I put that in the oven, I went ahead and did two layers of tape on the blade, made sure and got down into all the little nooks and crannies so that all that stuff shows up when we press it. This particular foam here is actually four holsters and sheaths. You can get it from a bunch of different places, but I'll leave a link for it in the description below if you want to go check out some of this stuff. And then I just made the press myself. I'm going to use it, a couple of clamps, get it going. Okay, it's nice and flexible. Get the knife put up in here. Get the spine tucked up into the little taco area of this bad boy. <coughs> All right, let it be in there for about, I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes and then we'll take it out. So I'll roughly mark where the blade's going to be and then we'll start designing our sheath based off of that. I already have an idea of how I kind of want this sheath to be based like shape wise. So we're going to go ahead and run with that. So I know that I want my ulti clip to be about right here. So basically all I need to do is just kind of mark the edge of it and I know that I'm going to come out just a little bit because I want a little bit of overhang so that the clip doesn't hang off the side all awkward like. So we mark that. Go ahead and line it up with where the blade is. Then I already know that I want to run with this front here. I do that on a lot of my different sheaths and it's kind of just the way that I like to actually do them, especially for ones that are my personal sheaths. So that's what I'm going to do on this one. So now what I'm going to do is take an eyelet, make sure we're nice and good space-wise there, 
and we're just going to split the difference between this line and that line which uh, you might not be able to see it very well that line and that line split the difference between those measure out our holes start getting ready to drill in our eyelets position our ulti clip where we know we're going to end up wanting it mark the center of that and then we'll space everything off of those two marks should be about one inch center dead on one inch center so we'll do one more Eyelet down here. Center punched. Quarter inch bit. Now that everything's sanded, all the debris is taken out of it, we're finally going to go ahead and do our eyelets. This is a pretty simple setup. It's just the actual press and everything inside the drill press and it works real well. Now it's time to go ahead and do the ulti clip. I always end up putting it to where this little area where the belt rests all the way up into. I'll put it directly under this piece right here so that the belt rides right underneath it. 
and it lays real nice and tight to your body. One of the things that I find to make it a little bit easier to do all this, little rubber grommets on the back side of the screws, keeps them in position. So you can easily put it on here, get it centered, get everything where it needs to be, and go ahead and screw it in. So before we get too tight, Go ahead, center up our hardware. And I'm going to have the hardware follow the basket weave. Nice and straight on that side. There we go. Now that the sheath is done, we need to go ahead and put an edge on this. So we're just going to be using a 240 grit belt on the 2x72. Then we're going to switch over to the 1x30 and finalize it with a 1000 grit and a leather strop. So let's go ahead and get it sharp. I'd say that's a little bit sharp. <laughs> hmm. It can cut paper. I'd say it's sharp. So, 
good overall package. That guy right there is going to be my new EDC. <laughs> I love the way that turned out. I mean, that is just a beautiful knife all around. Just, ah, it's going to be so awesome. But, like I said, that's the new EDC. I'm going to have a blast with it. Really enjoy it. Some people wonder why I leave this piece open like this. That is so that debris can fall out. Some people will put it like, like back here. For the way that I do my sheaths, this is the lowest point. So I don't have to worry about that. If any debris is going to get in there, it's going to come out of that area. I don't want to press it any tighter than that because if I do, it's just going to hold all the debris. So there you go. Nice and formed. There you go. Sharp. Sheath. Everything good to go. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Guys, if y'all would, okay, give the video a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there, and I'll catch y'all next time.